All right, guys, let's talk about some awesome knives that I have gotten in recently and semi-recently. And let's just talk about some really cool blades. Now, I have discussed in previous videos, like, my most favorite knives. But I would say, like, let's talk about in this video some of maybe for those newer or zoomers, so to speak, some very drippy knives. Knives that just are very cool and I would say all the knives here that I'm going to talk about in this video are like grail knives for people in the knife community and EDC knife world. So the first one we're going to talk about because I'm already handling it and the newest knife to my collection is the Chris Reeve knives Umnumzon or Umnumzon, however you want to pronounce that. This of course is the Tonto version and is in S45VN. This blade is super, super cool. Um, I've been wanting a Umnumzon for quite some time now, especially because I already have a large Nkosi and a large Sebenza. So the Umnumzon kind of just rounds out that collection naturally. Um, you know, it's about the same size as the Nkosi and uh, yeah, very similar knife and very similar purpose but the Umnumzon is a little bit of a more modern take on the traditional frame lock folder so that is a very cool very drippy knife now one that I feel goes without saying people just love to see on the channel is my custom Gavco nurse and uh, I have to show it here of course because it is very drippy very very cool now this one is a one of one custom made by Michael Gavick from Gavco knives it is in AEBL so probably the least spectacular steel here but still very cool very smooth uh, deployment and operation as a whole and I just love the purpleness to this knife another one that is what I would say probably equally drippy to the Gavco is my Bounty Hunter Manticore and this one is a Heretic Knives Manticore X Bounty Hunter so this is a big boy version it's more along the size of a Combat Trudon for those familiar with Microtex knives so it is definitely a little bit larger but of course this one is also in the style of Boba Fett from the Star Wars series and it is just overall a really cool knife I think people have um, spoken in my Instagram stories and others they really like this knife some more than other of my other knives that I think are really cool so it really goes to saying that this uh, Manticore X is definitely a awesome knife that a lot of people really dig this one of course is made in CPM magna cut steel so you know it also carries a good amount of performance with it all right next one up and equally as drippy as I would say the last two is my Spartan Harzi Folder by Spartan Knives, of course. This one is a limited edition 2021 Battle Babe. And not only is it a large Spartan Harzi Folder with the Battle Babe kind of uh, scale or show side on it, but it also has that beautiful, absolutely beautiful Chad Nichols Damascus steel blade. And uh, yeah, like what more could you really want? If you're wanting something like a really well put together American folder, like this is it, guys. Like this is a knife that I love to drool over because it just looks so good. I don't know. I really love this one. Personally, in my opinion, I like it slightly more than the Bounty Hunter just because I love looking at that Damascus steel blade blade like it's so pretty so intricate um, but yeah it is really cool and definitely a good amount of drip irregardless to what you think of it in comparison to the other ones so next one up this is probably the least drippy of them all maybe we'll get to the least drippy of them all after this guy but this is a hinderer xm18 purpled out and uh, it has a really nice 20 cpm 20 um, cv blade steel and and of course in a recurve blade shape so super cool super super smooth action that's probably what i love about it most as i fail to deploy it um, is it's incredibly smooth deployment like this thing it runs like glass all right, next one up, and I think where we will call a natural conclusion, even though I could keep on going talking about drippy knives, is the McNeese Mac 
2. Now this is a smaller Mac 2. This is the 3 inch version of the Mac 2, but this one is very cool, very small. You got to have some classy small knives in the collection. And of course, as I try not to cut myself, this one is drop shutty as well as the last one. So you guys can see here, it is absolutely runs like glass and is very cool. Now this one's also made out of CPM 20 CV and I can definitely see why owning this knife, why a lot of people love the Mac 2 from McNeese. It's small. It's a little bit, in my opinion, kind of almost like chunky or chubby, but it is a really uh, comfortable knife to hold in hand um, so long as your hands aren't too big for it. And uh, it, it works. It has a really great blade shape. It's almost, almost kind of like a Bowie-esque blade shape uh, to it, but it is not a clip point, so it is not technically a Bowie, but it is a cool blade. So anyways, that is the McNeese Mac 2 in the three inch size. All right, guys, I have other knives even briefly showcased the large and cozy. I have a large Sabenza, but I think that's where I'm going to table it with arguably the most drippy knives of the collection. They're all very cool knives. I really do love them. And honestly, as far as most of the knives in my collection go, talk about the Strider SNG, Protex Strider SNG. There are so many awesome and epic knives in the collection, but these are some of the most drippy ones I would say that I have. And so anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.